The Glidon Dolly is a sturdy, no frills, compact commuting machine. It is one of the most portable electric scooters available on the market today. Portability is facilitated by dolly wheels and an airport luggage style telescopic carrying handle. The whole scooter falls into a package with an ultra small footprint, is easy to low go around and will free stand on its own. However, its ultra portability comes at a cost. The scooter will be a rough ride on poor quality roads and has a lackluster controls and performance. It is also not the most attractive scooter. The Glion Dolly is an ideal scooter for those who will bring it on to crowded public transportation frequently. The scooter is designed around this concept. If this fits your need, then the purchasing decision is truly a no-brainer. If you don't need this capability, then consider some of the other options. Well, let's talk about its acceleration. The Glion Dolly has a 250 watt motor and some sluggish acceleration. The scooter took 9.4 seconds to reach the 15 meter per hour during our test. For a comparison, a typical scooter like the M365 took only 6.3 seconds. If I talk about the hill climbing, the dolly has decent hill climbing capabilities and reached the top of our hill climb test in 17.9 seconds with an average speed of 7.6 meter per hour. Well, its top speed was pretty good. We hit a top speed of 15.8 meter per hour on the flat. This is comparable with other scooters with 250 watt motors. But some like the Swagtron Swagger 5, we actually hit 18 meter per hour range. So the Glendolly Dolly has a 238 watt lithium ion battery pack. We range tested the scooter to have 14.6 miles of real world range on our urban test track with a 165 pound rider. Well, during our review, we performed 15 meter per hour to 0 meter per hour baking test and the dolly took 40.5 feet to come to a stop. This is the worst breaking result we have ever gotten. The gland has no suspension, both the front and rear tires are solid, airless and provided no cushioning well. The ride quality on the dolly is acceptable if you are riding on smooth roads on terrible roads. Expert a punishing experience that will leave your joints and brain aching. The poor quality is one of the most significant drawbacks of the dolly. Unfortunately, none of the scooters that we consider ultra portable, U scooters, boosters, or Unagi Model 1 have fantastic ride quality on poor roads. This is somewhat of an inherent trade off. It's not an exaggeration to say that the Glion Dolly is the ultimate portable electric scooter. The whole scooter has basically been designed this concept. The Dolly has some unique features that make it ultra portable. Telescoping stem, secondly folding stem, folding stem thirdly folding handlebars, fourthly Dolly wheels, telescoping towel handles. This is where the scooter shines telescoping stem, folding stem, and handlebars, low and low weight as well. But the big story here is the dolly wheels coupled with telescoping handle that comes out of the platform. This works exceptionally well, and if you are commuting on a crowded bus or train, this is worth the other experience. And yeah, right quality trade offs. However, this scooter is exceptional if you are the right person. If you have a commute that requires you to bring your scooter on public transportation, this is the right scooter for you. The dolly is easy to fold up and go with you on public transport. It's no worse than having a small piece of luggage and you won't be awkwardly bumping into other people as you get on or off a crowded train or bus. That's all for my today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.